Good morning, sixth grade. It's Mr. Kutke wishing you all well. Um, I thank all of you who have been working on CodeMonkey. I am able to uh, watch your progress, what you have done, what you haven't done. Uh, thank you for working on that. Um, CodeMonkey will still be open. Uh, it is to your benefit to uh, work on the four lessons up to challenge 20. Um, as time goes on, but that's not what I'm here to talk to you about today. I'm here to talk to you about to our monthly assignment. Um, we are going to be jumping into Atlas Obscura a little further. Uh, we will be using Google Slides. This assignment uh, will be your grade for the last term. Um, we need something to measure um, uh, you off of if, in fact, we go many more weeks forward. If we come back in a few weeks, that's a different story, but uh, it doesn't seem that that's going to happen. So this will be most likely uh, a final grade uh, in time. Uh, it is not officially yet, but I would suspect that it will be. So let's just take a quick look at it so we understand what we are, we are possibly responsible for. So sixth grade remote learning, Atlas Obscura. We're going to use the website atlasobscura.com. We're going to be working in Google Slides. No more PowerPoint. Uh, Google Slides is extremely similar to PowerPoint. I believe that you do have the skills from PowerPoint, if you have not worked with Google Slides, to operate it almost independently at this point. Let's take a look at what the project will consist of. It's going to consist of six slides, one title slide, word art, images of locations, name, and class, and five locations of interest that you will choose from Atlas Obscura. Um, every slide, slides two through six, those five slides will include these elements from the website. Name of place, Location in the world is detailed as you can get it. Continent, country, state, city, and address. And why did you choose this particular location? Give two strong reasons in bullet form, I would imagine. Or you can do it in paragraph form. It doesn't really make a difference to me. One related place with pictures and information. Uh, locations website, if it is available images and map of location. Um, we will go through the technical aspects of things. All slides will include components such as title, background, word art, <coughs> text boxes, transitions, animations, bullet points, and images. We are going to do the project in a relatively specific order. Um, week by week building components. Week one will be April 13th to the 18th. Uh, collect information for your five locations for input in week three. Week two, April 21st to the 25th, word titles, word art titles, I should say, and backgrounds. Week three, a bigger week, uh, the 28th to May 1st. Text boxes and bullet points. We want to add all of our information to the slides here. Week four, the 4th of May to the 8th, images, transitions, and animations. And week five, uh, we're going to just clean it up, edit it, and most likely have it emailed back to myself. Uh, I have created a um, YouTube uh site for uh, video content. I will be adding videos, self-made and professional videos related to the particular skills uh, that we will be learning. I can always um, create a video personally for you if you are having a specific problem uh, in the movement of your piece. Um, that is not an issue. I would just need you to dojo me and we can work that out. Um, that is pretty much it in terms of the technical aspects. 
um, the website, Atlas Obscura. Uh, here we are. Um, we have a lot of experiences. Uh, we have places. Um, let's take a look at that. We have a lot of places. Uh, in fact, what are we talking about? We have almost 19,400 places to choose from. Uh, when you are choosing places, I, there is no rule as to the places you'd like to choose. Whether it is um, anywhere in the world, it is completely up to you. Uh, your search bar, uh, you type in anything you'd like. Some kids in the past have done this through uh, themes. Some kids choose five haunted houses. Some kids choose unusual places in Queens, New York. Some people choose uh, world's greatest caves. Uh, you have an almost unlimited selection of spots. Um, let's take a look over here. Uh, I just grabbed one so we can take a look at one, one of the uh, locations, looks like. I, I have no idea what this is about, but it does look incredibly interesting, and I have not been there. Uh, this is in New York, uh, in Manhattan. It's called the Evolution Store. It looks quite interesting. Uh, as you see, when you go through the website, there is a good amount of information, images. This one has map, uh, which is something I would like in the piece, has directions, has a website. Uh, also, has related places. I want you to choose one related place uh, and describe it to me. How is it, in fact, related? Uh, what do you think uh, the common thread might be? I would like you to have that in your descriptions as well. Um, I think that is... Now, again, you have 19,000 choices. It is up to you how you would like to approach this project. It could be just five points of incredible interest. It could be nature. It could be technology. Uh, you could do themes. It could. It's really up to you. I am excited to see what will be coming back uh, from these projects. Again, we will be building this week by week. I will be building a slide with you. So, um, again, I'm throwing this to you on Thursday, April 9th, you have next week to collect all of the data that you need to for each location so that we can begin. Um, that's about it. Please dojo me if you have any issues. I miss you all so much. Can't wait to see you again. Be good, sixth grade.